All right, how we doing today? So today's uh, 23 December 2020. Uh, this is about 9.46 a.m. And I got to get this view right here. This is from the southeast part of the stadium. It's been a minute since I've been over here, probably at least like six weeks. So I'm able to get a good portion of the stadium minus um, the Raiders image on the north side. And I'm able to get a glimpse of this TV screen. They hardly ever turn it on. And I probably don't blame it because of the distractions that it's gonna have on the interstate. Okay, and then on top of that, they're not having any fans anyway. So, I wanna talk about uh, the Raiders, a little bit of Raiders talk and a little bit of NBA talk. And then, so uh, I may have to save this for a separate video, but the NHL, but for the most part, uh, the Raiders. And to kind of recap on their performance this season. All right. First and foremost, I'd like to say this. I hadn't had a chance to do really, really a lot of sports and stuff because there was other topics I felt that like was more, you know, important to talk about. All right. Um, so I think the Raiders are playing, playing fairly decent. Uh, right now, as we speak, that they're seven and seven, and they're on the bubble to uh, make the playoffs. But they play some fairly tough teams. They was able to pull apart, uh, pull away from a couple of those teams, and then they lost bad by uh, some of those teams too. They also lost against I felt like teams that they should have won. So I just think that there's some balance issues right there. Uh, at that part. Um, I think that it's Mike, it's, it may be, well, based on the performance that they had, let's see here, last week. Uh, I'm trying to think when was that? About 10 days ago. That was on the 13th against the uh, the, the Colts. And the Colts actually are fairly, a, a pretty good team. I believe they're 11 and 4. But I believe the coaching staff probably felt it should have been a much better performance. And they had a press conference, and I don't think that uh, Coach Gooden was very happy about that. And therefore, like right after the press conference, uh, he fired uh, the general man, uh, not the general manager, I'm sorry, the defensive coordinator, because uh, they were giving up too, much def uh, too many defensive yards. All right, uh, one of the top Contenders on giving up uh, defensive uh, yards uh, in the NFL, but particularly in the, in, the, in the AFC. So I guess they wanted to shake things up by trying to motivate uh, that defense by bringing in um, or, hire, or or they wanted to sustain the uh, the interim um, defensive coordinator. I forgot the name. All right, and they played a little better. I don't know if I can say better. But they lost a heartbreaking loss, let's see here, about a week ago against uh, the San Diego Chargers. But they're, that's not no team that you want to play every game. That's not no punk team. They have an all-new unit. The quarterback is a rookie. And it's just a matter of time, to, you know, if they're able to keep that unit together. That quarterback is a pretty good size dude. The guy's like 6'6", about 250. So, and he's very, very tough to bring down. Uh, I don't know. I'm not gonna say that he's really, really like, uh, like athletic as a lot of these guys that can really run, but he's very cantankerous, okay? So he's gonna be hard to tackle and uh, he can figure out a way to throw the ball while he's being tackled or while somebody's coming after him or being, uh, being brought down. But back to the Raiders. <clears throat> so we have two more weeks remaining in the regular season and they're seven and seven. So I think it's a matter of winning. I don't know how this how the placement is uh, specifically in the AFC. I believe it's Buffalo and Pittsburgh, and then Cleveland uh, are the top teams. Like they've won like 10 or 11 games as we speak, uh, or 12 games or whatever that is. Kansas City. Okay, looks like Kansas City is going to win that division again. Um, 
So we will have to see how those bottom teams uh, pan out. And even if they do, they're probably going to have to play a Cleveland or uh, maybe Baltimore or maybe uh, one of those top-ranked uh, AFC teams. I would think either Pittsburgh or Cleveland. So they're going to have a they're going to have a hard road uh, ahead of them. Uh, the quarterback, that uh, guy uh, Carr, he's injured now, but he's going to have to watch himself. I tell you right now because I think if they don't make the playoffs. He's going to end up getting traded. Uh, they had Marcus Mariota. I think he's played fairly well. And I don't know how long Carr is going to be out. Uh, we got two more games, uh, as I said before. But let's just say if they make the playoffs with Mariota, then they're probably going to have to figure out what way they're going to go as far as a quarterback uh, as long as well as a defensive coordinator uh, moving forward. So that's what I just, my take on the Raiders, they're gonna they cannot uh, take the rest of this year, um, you know, lightly, put it like that. Or I think there will be some, some uh, major changes, probably more changes than most people think. I'm not a Raiders fan. I thought about becoming a, maybe a dual Lions this year, but I just question on, on how their performance, you know, this or what direction they're going to be for the next five years or so. Actually, I like uh, the formerly the Redskins, the Washington football team. It looks like if we win the next two games, we'll end up getting a playoff, a wild card, the uh, bottom spot, and we'll play the, uh, play the Rams as if we end up getting that uh, win in the NFC East. So the NFC East is only going to be one winner uh, out of that conference, and that whole conference is busted anyway. But, but yeah, I may do a – I don't know. Maybe next year I'll consider doing a dual alliance, and hopefully we'll get a game in, in, in this stadium next year. So, uh, man, it's a good thing that we didn't get a, a game in this stadium this year. Man, I've been very, very disappointed. So let's just see. Um, I know that, let's see, injuries, uh, people getting sick because of C-19 is a factor, probably no fans, because in this stadium it's no fans. Actually, the governor allowed fans in here, I think it's 15%, but uh, the owner, Mark Davis, said all or none. So uh, I believe that probably put a damper on things, but I believe it, 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 in, a, in a profession like the NFL, players have to try to find a way to perform at a high level. And that's in anything that you do. You know, um, we have a lot of uh, trials and tribulations right now that puts a damper on things, but you have to be able to perform at a, at a higher level, okay? Uh, we have uh, obstacles, we have things going on in our lives and all that. Uh, but I don't wanna digress on that. So it's one of the things that we have to see how uh, the Raiders are gonna, uh, gonna perform. I hope they, uh, able to find a way to uh, put that ball in the end zone and, and win and be able to contain uh, the offenses on these uh, two remaining teams of, of their opponent. So, and in conjunction with that, you get a, a view of the beautiful stadium and the, the skyline and all that, all right? Uh, it's two days before Christmas. I think a lot of people are starting to roll in here uh, tonight. Um, so, But that's about it on that. Um, yeah, just a little, a little footage about the parking lots and all that. And on the other side of the stadium, they have what they call the Raiders image. I've done a video on that before. If you look through my videos, you can be able to find it. And maybe I can do a, a video, uh, another video on that another day. Okay. All right. Um, so that's pretty much it as far as in Raiders talk. Uh, and the NBA season started actually yesterday with the Lakers and all that. So they are considered the favorite again uh, to win again. So we'll see what happens. I know that they lost a couple of players because of issues with money, but uh, LeBron James has been extended for a couple more years. And then uh, 
I forgot that guy's name. Anthony Davis just signed a uh, mega contract. That's if a lot of you guys like uh, Lakers. I think that Las Vegas are going to end up getting their own team here in a few years. Uh, we'll see. This is just my opinion. I believe that if the Pelicans in New Orleans, if they don't build a new stadium for those guys in 2023, then they may look at coming here or maybe Seattle. All right? So I think those teams, uh, those cities are on the uh, – Las Vegas and Seattle are on the blotter to uh, try to get a basketball team. They're going to probably play, I'm thinking, in the same – if Las Vegas gets a team, the same uh, arena as in which the hockey team are. And that'll be a video, again, uh, another day on the hockey team. The hockey league will start on the 13th of January. All right, good enough. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Leave your comments, shares, and let me know what you think or whatever about the fate of the Raiders this year and then maybe, I don't know, the next couple of years and beyond. All right? What they may try to do is if they don't make the playoffs, let's say hypothetically they, they may try to get Carson Wentz. And that would be a good fit for the Raiders because they'll have uh, some Super Bowl experience. And that's that's the type of stuff that Gruden is looking for. The co that's the culture. All right, you guys have a, a wonderful day. And thanks for uh, listening and watching.